Hello guys, it's your boy Nelson. Nelson from LegitimateIncomeOnline.com. Guys, today we're going to look on, on this WordPress update. Okay, it's come to uh, to a point where when you update into version 5.11, then some of the uh, of the player of the things does not work in either when you come when you're using deep in themes. Uh, some of the place does not work in if you using other type of themes sometimes does not working so my the core aim of this video is for me to show you on how to change in um, I, I can say either uh, WordPress editor okay post because it's, it's at the end of the time it's going to be drag and drop I, I don't have a bad things about this but if you go to to posting then let's say maybe we add new posting and here you can see that there's some changing by the way there's some change okay let's go let's see it's, there's some change which is happened recent because of this do changing which is uh gutenberg which is is a new version of wordpress okay so this is it okay here, as you can see you add your title maybe you call it uh, wordpress okay site uh, update okay maybe you call that um uh, at the end of the day here you at the end it's just a drag and drop sometimes okay here you can say a paragraph maybe this is a paragraph yeah this is how it's look like okay um other thing here is you just go and using this uh plus which is going to drop out this form maker gallery okay I, I i don't like the way these things is i always like the previous uh, the previous version so today i'm going to show you how to come up with the previous version okay uh, how to come up with the previous version of this like here you can either embed video youtube twitter okay it's not bad it's not bad but today my aim is to show you on how you're going to use a previous editor which is classical editor okay it's an old version eh? just like that okay even though right now they come up with cool things okay not bad um get okay okay flattest post okay not not too bad mm. even though i'm not a fan of this header let's say you add header here it is it's going to be sure this is header okay <laughs> just like that then you can still use this you can add either an image a color okay then here you can upload or you can go to your media Okay, let's try one thing here let me go to media real quick I'm trying this okay let's say let's go and select that one create gallery what the hell is that okay insert you can see here let's see let's see Uh, yeah i don't like it i in my opinion i don't feel like it's a good thing for me so my aim of this video is for you to show you how now to back into a previous uh, editor so let's go real quick so what you need to do is first of all if you go directly to to wordpress you can see wordpress.org plugin this is a classical plugin so you just need to install this plugin and activate it and then you go back to the previous previous editor which is, is is a classical editor which is good okay i don't find i can tell you because uh, i i like the way it's look it's just like you write in a word okay in a microsoft word which is pretty good easy by the way if you you start in either copy from one place to and you paste here either you already write your post in in in, 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 in microsoft Word, then you come here and you paste it that's the format here is not going to be the same okay it's not going to be uh, as good okay that the same you you set up your format in 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 in, in, in a word okay in a microsoft word so this here it cannot work like that uh, even if somebody tried i don't know but i feel it's when i tried the first time and i feel bad okay i feel bad 
so let's go and show you and show you on how you're going to to do this even though here they give you even you can change permalink okay i don't like that anyway okay so let's go and install this plugin which is classic classic editor okay this is all about it's created by by wordpress themselves they create it okay and he already been activated by three plus million people use this because they see that this they see that maybe it's not uh, yeah it's not <laughs> yeah the new Gutenberg editor is going Gutenberg <laughs> editor is not uh, good for them so they install this plugin then uh, WordPress version here so it support also this updated version of WordPress which is 4.2 also php tested up to they already tested up to this so it's still supported so it's an official wordpress plugin will be full support and maintain until at least 2022 as long as it is necessary so this plugin is going to be available everywhere mm -hmm. at least this plugin has the following administrator can select the default editor for all users so this is the plugin which support but for this plugin hide all functionality available in a new block editor gutenberg okay so if you install this and activate this plugin then it's going to hide in everything about it. gutenberg those block block okay you can see those type of block uh, what the hell is this anyway this type of block block here okay so it's going to be hidden so you're going to be back to to uh, uh to wordpress previous mm, editor so let's go directly to plugin then click add a new plugin here okay let's leave this i think let's leave this <coughs> okay so here go and searching either classic classic editor okay just search classic editor here and let's see okay here it is guys the rate is not bad 3 million plus which is cool then you click install now then i'm going to click activate okay just like this just like this guys just like this so the plugin is being activated so let's go directly to add a new post okay and see the new version of uh, my editor this should be look the same as the previous week i used before this okay this is it okay as you can see guys mm, is the previous editor okay which have some title there i can do other thing right here guys it's, it's pretty good i like this this is how you do it so um there's nothing wrong with if you continue use that's one you need to learn on how to use it to work in to to work in in a, in a to to working quickly yeah, because i can tell you uh the 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 one which is recently updated yeah, i think you don't going to work quickly compared to this which is it's just like a eh, it's just like a, a microsoft word so uh the other one here there is not in the same so guys this is how you you're going to change in the the Gutenberg uh into uh, a classic editor posting so thank you so much for stay up here and looking on how i'm doing so we are in peace